what's the coolest possible thing one can do for a living? And it, 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 it instantly popped into my head, we'll be a filmmaker. Wow. And I had no experience. I don't know why that particular thing jumped into my head. I could have said rock star. I could have said actor. I could have said astronaut. That's as much as I knew about filmmaking. I didn't know. I didn't. I knew as little about it. Was any particular film in your mind when you came to that conclusion? Being like... honest, I thought it was the sexiest possible thing. That's awesome. I, I don't know why I thought that. I mean, I, <laughs> you know, there are other things. I now know there are other things sexier than a documentary filmmaker. <laughs> but at the time, I thought, no, that's the that is the coolest thing. And so I just started taking classes in that direction. What does fitness mean to you? One of the things that I have loved about this gym is uh, it seems to me that it is full of um, poet fitness philosophers. Yeah. You know, you're one of them. Thank uh, you. And I think there is a metaphor. Uh, there's so many metaphors. There's so many lessons that are learned in the gym that I think you can apply to your normal life. There's um, a huge mental component to working out. You can always do a little more than you think you can. Yeah. And that lesson is so helpful to me when you're stuck on a creative problem when the days are very, very long when you're attempting to make a documentary film and, and physically it can be taxing, but mentally you want to give up before physically you're ready. And so just learning to kind of press through that has been helpful. But I don't think you're going to achieve maximum happiness in this life if you're not at least attempting to take care of the vehicle that houses your spirit and your mind. I love that. And um, I am, you know, I am by no means a, uh, uh, a fitness guru. I'm not, you know, you, you, I'm not you. <laughs> you, you are uh, an Adonis. I am a very normal guy. But I, I, there is a feeling I get when I am working out and I love the component in this gym of the camaraderie you feel when it's a group that's working out together and people are encouraging each other. I tend to kind of gravitate towards those stories in my filmmaking. I, I tend to, I love when a football team comes together. I think you, you could easily say that the story of cheer is these disparate people all learning to uh, sacrifice their differences to come together and form a unit that can perform for two minutes and 15 seconds. And, um, I sort of, I, I, I vibe off of those stories and I think I vibe off of the, that kind of working out. I really, really like that. That's such a, such a cool piece and, you know, just shows, I, th I think you mentioned early on in that explanation that you're not going to live a very happy or fulfilled life if you're not at least attempting to take care of the vehicle. And that just concept right there, you know, goes back to if you're healthy or wealthy. You know, yeah, you have the freedom to kind of do whatever you want whenever you want because your body and your mind are not a limitation.